Good day, everybody, and welcome back to Brent Plays With Himself Control. On this tenth episode, I find Marshall and I make my way through the Synchronicity Lab, because that's something that exists in the real world, a Synchronicity Lab. And I get a new power, and I think I'm going to use it. That was intense. Transcript of a call to the California State Emergency Services. Dispatcher, 911, what's your emergency? Voice. Hello? Hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? D. I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? Voice. I'm. I'm. Inside the wires. I'm lost. D. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? Voice. I feel like I'm stretching through the wires towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. Okay, can you describe your surroundings? Unknown noise. Ma'am? Hello, ma'am? No. Dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. Who the fuck are you? Hi! What? Okay. Oh, this room. Weird. But also cool. Okay. What's going on through here? Bad shit. Okay. Am I going to be able to see this? Yeah, I am. Hang on, guy. I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to... Wait. Hmm. I do. I'm God. I'm confused. Welcome to the research. Nope. The astral plane. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is... Wait, is he wearing a bow tie? When he was drunk with the HRAs, he was wearing a straight tie. I mean, people can change ties. Just saying. And simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid... The board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, 
the process of choosing a director tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Wait, yes. Huh? Is that you implying that the Black Pyramid controls everything? Because, okay. It's not controlling me. Fuck you. The Astral ex Exhibition was originally built for the astronauts, who use it as a training location. A place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but was being stingy with the bu oh, but was being stingy with the budget. However, oh, it's light. Once we discovered the we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to reserve the behavior in the environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in with it. But Rome wasn't built in a day. Addendum. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity known as the Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Oh, okay, cool. I'll redact your face. Cool little Minecraft model. Oh, God. Was that the nope. I'll watch it on the big screen. Uh, please? An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place. Not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter. Great editing in this video. But then Mwah. one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. A apart from one shocking exception. The gun? In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement. Native species always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Fuck! How much do you want to bet it broke the fuck out? That was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place. I can't believe they keep that thing here. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to fight this thing. Dick face.
Got it. Come here, motherfucker. Was that stressful? Oh, I see you. Fuck okay, off, let me at it. I figured it out. It wasn't that difficult to figure out. I figured it out, alright. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. Damn it, Marshall! What is that? His clusters. Heal other enemies, destroy them, and make the fight easier. What the fuck is that thing? Hang on, I'm going to read this. Before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. 1. Ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in their chair. 2. Ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the record process, which can lower the quality of captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some consider upsetting. 3. Check if the volunteer is comfortable. Four, activate the recording. If you are worried about the spasms and stuff, comfortable is not a concern. Activate the report recording apparatus. After recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Reminder, do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of con consciousness. Astral dilation is a known issue. Benny, oh boy.
Oh, big guy. Saro. Okay, so he's up there. Not ideal. His cluster, baby! His clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of the his, his, his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his hosts with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to enjoy more bodily harm than normal proves it possible. The fact that the hiss make an effort to preserve its corrupted hosts underlines the level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting, Refer to file for full report. Okay. Huh. Streetful. Okay. Precognitive powers. Nadine, send this to research for analysis. Re my precognitive powers. Urgent, Doctor Darling. Last night I had a dream. In the dream I was given the solution to a staffing problem I'd been presented with just yesterday. The problem is of a confidential nature and must therefore remain unclarified here. But I can assure you that the method through which I received this helpful information was undeniably paranatural. I can only draw the conclusion that I possess exceptional precognitive abilities and as such offer my services to the Bureau's research teams. We must utilize my powers for the greater good. Signed, Mr. Francis Bertram. Cleanse his mother. The luck department? This report serves as an introductory guide to the Ash astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with X-ray light box. See case file OOP18 for detail. In the hyp hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division, physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes, known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a hot session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven that hot, hot, within the astral plane vary widely between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Refer to file blah blah blah. Usually that's
we go. Group think. Okay. This study extends the works of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong casual links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Ask's Ox, Ox, original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as the subject. See experiments for details. Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in herp. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of herp and herp. Well, this is all fine. Oh. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need a talk. You got that right. Oh, good. More of you? Really? Oh, fuck. So bad. To the marshal. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I was like. Oof. Bright bathroom. Fuck this place. I guess we don't care about this? Jesus. Discovered in the home of Agent Hrp after his young daughter complained of being followed by her rubber duck, according to Agent Hrp, the matter was ignored, believed to be the result of a child's imagination, until he began to hear the quacking at night. After discovering the item hiding in his daughter's closet, he brought it to the Bureau for study. Update. It was discovered that Agent Hrp was bringing known paranatural materials into his home, illegally taking them outside the oldest house. How this may have affected the creation of an altered item is being investigated. Agent Hrp has been terminated. Are you Agent Hrp? I hope not, because you've been here a while now. Marshall is right down the hall. Thank you. At ease, gentlemen. And lady. Hey guys, wanna see something cool? Oh. I don't have to play. But that was cool. None of you seem enthralled by this. I presume you've all seen this before. Great. There goes my whole thing. People. Ammo refund chance on hit. Oh, yes, please. Oh, 
Ooh, what's this? Accuracy 16%. I love it. Oh, hang on. Get rid of that. And that. Yeah. I don't got time. I don't have time for oneers. Ruah. I like my health. Okay. That is, gentlemen. Whoa. Dude, are you seeing this? Dude. 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 Fine. Gentlemen. 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 There you are. I was starting to worry. You guys have some cool shit. Ooh, what's this do? No! Never. Ever. Do that. What do you do? I don't have the clearance. All right. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachary is dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. It makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place. Jesus Christ! Just this should help you get past them. We'll Ugh. more after like... clear out the hiss. I get that you're like, oh, I found the house where they took my brother. And you're very, like, on edge. I get it. However, like, everything you, s everything that you're being told right now, is she testing me? This doesn't phase her? Blue blue. Whoa! What is going on? I wanted someone to be in this one. <laughs> Just to then be like, Oh, thank God. Is it safe out there? All these bullets going on? Yes. It's not safe at all, is it? No. It's pretty bad out there. Remember... As director, I implement a no shy pooping initiative. We have to help them. Okay. Where is the orb? There you are, you mother. Where is it?
Here, boy. Where you at, boy? Oh, boy. Cleanse this mother. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Oh boy. Ahoy hey! Remember the time that I kicked your ass? Cause I do. And now I'm gonna read about what you were because you scared me half to death. What the fuck were you in? Warped. Okay. The Hiss Warped wield only paranatural abilities similar to Drifters. They're able to telekinetically shield themselves with nearby material and launch objects at their target. These entities are particularly destructive and difficult to kill, possibly indicating a greater internal reinforcement of Hiss Resonance. Why do certain hits display paranatural abilities while others rely on Bureau of Firearms? Do certain corrupted entities have less potential than the hosts that become his warped? Or is this perhaps an indication of the evolution or mat maturation of the hiss corruption? Are there other stages of evolution yet to be found? What if the hiss inhabits a host for a month, a year? Do hosts expire after a certain amount of time? Does the corruption become too strong for the organic body to endure? Only time and well-documented observation will tell. Great. Phantasmo. Can I do anything? No. Not yet. That's fine. Okay. Where am I going? Oh, wait, what? Uh... Wait, so I gotta go there? Wait a second. Where am I? Synchronicity. 
Chastity Lab. But I'm not supposed to be here. Hang on. There's a possibility that I fucked up. It's over here. Wait, what's my mission? Let's do that. I don't care. Wait. Pope informs... Jesse, that Marshall went to the research sector. Jesse finds Marshall and her rangers fighting a hopeless battle against the hits in an attempt to reach Dr. Darling's HRA lab. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh! Well, let's go... Yeah, let's go here. For some reason, I like the idea... Okay. I see it. Another object of power. They're just standing there, mesmerized by it. Oh. Interesting. It has the hypnotized okay what do we have here What should it look like? Does anyone know what the fuck I'm meant to be doing here?
Wait, I didn't do anything? What the hell? But that's it! It's right there! Okay. I don't like puzzles. Find a way into the room to bind the X-ray light box. How? Did that. That's what I did. Look. I'm an idiot, gotta fill in the border of that. I nailed it, guys. Don't worry. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astral Mark. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astral Mark, First Class. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Collapse, loss of ego, and Just another day, another dollar, y'all. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, a.k.a. the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? Yeah. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Fantastic. Surely nothing bad happened at all. Use C's. Okay. But I don't know how to use seeds.
Cool. Uh, I don't really like that power. That's not a power I usually am like, woo, about. So, I don't know how much I'm going to use that. Maybe a little. I do like having an army. It will make the game easier. Fuck it, I'm going to use it. Thank you all so much for watching. To join my guests and I live, check out our Twitch channel, Nearly Competent. You can reach us at the social media links in these credits. And if you want to support us even more, check out our Patreon. Thank you to the fiends currently supporting us. We will see you all next time. Have a good evening.